How's it going? This is Nick with Armament. Quick install video of the new PRB, the positive reset bushing for the FRT15, wide open trigger, and Tommy triggers. Um, so Armament's official policy is that both the PRB and the ALB adjustable locking bar need to be installed by a qualified gunsmith. So that being said, here's a reference video for installation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just assume that these triggers are out of the rifle um, at this point for simplicity reasons. So we'll get started. The FRT-15 is going to be the simplest. Quick uh, check of the trigger. Pull the trigger. Drop the hammer. Make sure that the spring ears are up and out of the way. Grab one of the new positive reset bushings. These have two flats that engage these trigger ears. Um, these locate this offset hole and make sure that they're up. So on a rear breed trigger, all you're gonna do, drop the hammer, make sure these ears are up. From either side, it's gonna simply Push the bushing through. You can grab this between your fingers. Um, you can help locate that if you need. If you look down inside the trigger housing, just make sure that these are facing up, more or less. Once the trigger actually, the trigger springs hit it, excuse me, the hammer springs hit it, it'll locate that. That's literally the installation on an air rare breed FR15. Set this aside, keep it for later. Um, quick little note. When you're installing it, you may need to grab this bushing and rotate it forward or back uh, to help positioning when putting it in the lower. Um, sometimes it's easier to put the trigger pin in first and then rotate it back and forth with the hammer pin in there and it'll slide in. So a little bit of trial and error there, but as far as installing the bushing goes, that's literally it on an FRT-15. So while we have everything out. Let's go over installation on the wide open trigger as well. A little more involved uh, just because these triggers, uh, the bushings are pressed in. Typically these, I like to push it from, you know, looking at the rifle right side to left. So get a simple punch, hammer. Doesn't take much, just break that. Once, don't push it all the way through. Once you break that pin through, Open up another bushing. And then from the right to left on the wide open triggers, same thing, make sure these hammer spring ears are up out of the way. Simply just continue pushing it through. Once you get through to the other side of the housing, either a little bit of wiggle or just a simple tap and then it'll go in. Once it goes in, you can typically turn it. If it doesn't, you may need to put just a little more force on it, but other than that, same. Make sure that these ears line up with the flats. There you go, that's installed in the wide open trigger. And while we have you here, installing this on the Tommy trigger. And yes, all three of these triggers do suffer from reset issues on certain platforms. Very similar insulation to the rare breed. Drop the hammer, pull the spring so that the ears are up. Open another PRB package. Either way, either side, simply just push it through and replace the trigger tin bushing. This one, these ears don't locate, so what you're gonna have to do is physically just make sure that this is up and down. And uh, you may, once you set it in the lower a couple times, you may have to physically move this a little bit back and forth just to make sure the holes line up. Once they do, installation is done, complete. You're good to go. Any other questions, please let us know and check out armamentusa.com. Thank you.